It's pretty confusing sometimes which preposition to use when we talk about transportation. But I assure you, after watching this video, you will exactly know which preposition is used to talk about different kinds of transportation. Shall we start? Let's talk about the transportation preposition. So basically, we'll talk about three types of transportation preposition. That is, in, on, and by. Let's talk about the preposition on. So when do we use the preposition on? We use preposition on for public transportation or a transport that has a lot of space inside it for movement. For example, on a plane, on a train, on a ship, on a bus, on a subway, on a metro, on a cruise, on a ferry, on a submarine. One example sentence is, I was riding on a train. Also, we use on for things that one person can sit or stand on to ride. For example, on a bicycle, on a motorcycle, on a surfboard, on a Segway, on a tricycle, on a horse, on a skateboard, on a camel. One example sentence is, I'm sitting on a horse. Now let's talk about the preposition in. So when do we use the preposition in? We use the preposition in when we talk about the private transportation or a transport that has a limited space inside it for movement. For example, in a boat, in a taxi, in a tractor, in a car, in a kayak, in a canoe, in a truck, in an Uber, in a helicopter, in a van, in a lorry, in an SUV, in a wheelchair, in a stroller, in an ambulance. Now let's look at one example sentence. We were sitting in an air-conditioned taxi. Now let's talk about the preposition by. So when can we use preposition by? We use by for the general ways to travel. By can be used with nouns or vehicles such as by car, by bus, by plane, by train. One example sentence is, we can go home by car. Also, by can be used with nouns or medium such as by road, by sea, by air, by rail, by foot. For example, we can reach quickly if we go by air. Also, remember that you get in or get out of a car or taxi because it's a private vehicle. But you get on or get off a plane or motorcycle because it's a public vehicle or it's a vehicle that you sit on it. So using transportation preposition isn't so difficult to use if you know them well. And I'm sure that you will never make any mistake while using any transportation preposition after watching this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe this video and also don't forget to share this video as much as possible. Please hit a like button and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thumb yet.